Hello guys, welcome. Today I am doing my sinking funds video. I am going to close off January and I am going to set up February. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, hello, welcome. My name is Ellie and this is Planning and Finances. If these are the type of videos you like, stick around. I do these and I do everything to do with personal finance and probably a little bit of random in between. But let's get into today's video. So we're going to have a look at our sinking funds. So I'm going to start off with when I did this up there the other month and I was looking and Hannah has 753 in her birthday fund. Now normally I only allocate 500 a month to the girls for their birthday. So I've decided I'm going to net these off each other and I'm going to balance them both at 500 euro. So they won't need to be filled now until their birthday. They are completely full. So I'm going to change this. I'm not going to put any money in there this month. So I'm going to take my 500 and I'm going to minus the 753.77, which leaves Hannah's account. I'm going to put it in here actually spent because it's just a balance and item. Two five three seventy seven, and then I'm going to take away the five hundred minus the three one nine point four nine, and that's what I need to get Lawrence up to five hundred. So I've just switched the money around. So if I take the 253.77 and minus the 180.5, I'm left with 73.27 that I can put into um, another fund. So I'm going to put it in down here. So I know it's under the spent column, but it's going to go in as a minus because we haven't, oh, sorry. Sorry, it's going to go as a plus, but we haven't spent that money, if that makes sense. I'm just going to put brackets around these. These are all just netting each other off. When we add them all up, they come to zero. So now I'm going to get into it. So I had 200 there and I actually had a look and I changed these ones around. The car insurance looked pretty full. So once my insurance comes now, actually I got a quote for 450. 50 euro for my car in March so when I find out what it'll actually be when I ring around and get some quotes I'll reassess the sinking fund to see if it's over full because the one thing you don't want to do with sinking funds either is overfill them because potentially I could have this money working somewhere else if it is over full and that's kind of what I did with the girls accounts here as well but Christmas I did want to put in the extra 50 euro into Christmas so we're just going to close these ones off here, plus the 150, no money spent, that gives me 1373.27. Home insurance is 303. TV license is 90. The girls are 500 each and then Christmas is 412.12. I think this has to be the best sinking fund ever and it's just made Christmas so much more enjoyable. Well, actually, I'll say nothing to do with the car as well. They're great sinking funds as well. Um, so moving on then down to car maintenance. Car maintenance, I put in 100 euro. And I spent 21.65 and that kills me um, because if we look over here on our spending tracker it was for a missed NCT charge so I was lying there in bed on my birthday <laughs> when I should have been up at the NCT centre yeah so I missed it you might think why did I book it on my birthday well the plan was I booked it for like eight o'clock I think it was and I was like brilliant I'll get up at bed early I'll get it done and then I'll go on the way home and I'll stop off and you know get a cup of tea and a cake somewhere 
you know, and just have a little peaceful morning to myself and then I'll go home and spend the rest of the day indoors in a sense uh, with the girls and my husband. And there I was, I lay in bed and completely forgot all about it. Absolutely devastated now I am. So I have to sort this out now still. So house maintenance, this has a bit of a change around. Um, I took 430 out of here um, and I moved it down here. This, I have to put a sticker in here. These are cash envelopes that I am setting up. So we had an expense in the house maintenance fund. We have 110 euro. And what I noticed is anytime anyone comes to do anything in the house that's an emergency, like, you know, like locksmith or drains or anything like that, they only take cash. So I'm always saying, oh, Krishna, quick, run to the, the bank or I'm putting the girls in the car to get to the bank before they come. So I would prefer to have some money at home in a case to have some money there for that. So I decided... There's going to be 320 euro in a cash envelope at home now so i took 430 from the bank from this fund and put it into a cash envelope and out of that cash envelope i paid this guy 110 euro to unclog my drains and i'm now left with 320 in that cash envelope so even though we didn't spend any money here what's left in the bank is what i'm going to um put in here as the closing balance because these are what I match against my uh, bank balances. Um, so then in college fees, there was no movement at all. New phone and laptop. I said I'm kind of working on this now and I put 200 in here. Um, so I'm looking for a laptop that kind of is like fast, um, but at a decent price. I'm willing to pay a decent price if it is good. So if anybody on here has any recommendations, if you have any knowledge in laptops, I would love your help. Because at the moment, my laptop, everything is taking so long to do. And I know I could be so much more efficient with my time if my laptop was quicker. I have a very, very basic one at the moment that only costs a few hundred euro. So I am willing to pay, um, but I would like the best value for my money. So if anybody knows that, let me know. Uh, immigration, I haven't done anything. And holiday, I have put in 250 euro. Um, so closing off at 350. I know we're not going anywhere yet, guys. But when we open back up and we can move a little bit outside our five kilometers, um, I would like to just take the girls somewhere. Um, and even if it means we go to a hotel or something, just being out of the house and doing something different. So I'm trying to save a bit each month so that we have money there to go. And I'm also now going to be setting up these cash envelopes. So we're going to have beauty because we're all going to need haircuts um, when the beauticians and the hairdressers open up. So I'm going to start putting a bit of money in here each week. The girls really need a haircut. Mine's actually not fair and too bad, but the girls, yeah. So, and um, I'm going to get them a wash, a cut and uh, a blow dry because Hannah absolutely loves it. So I'm going to start putting some money in here and I'm going to put some money in fun and just have a bit of cash there that if we're out somewhere and the girls ask for something, I'm just going to have it there on me. And gifts. Um, I noticed I never shop online. I really don't. Um, and I always have my gift money in a sinking fund in the bank, but I'm going to take it out and have it in cash. And then I'm just going to put it in each month so I can um, pay it level over the year. And then school. This is just going to be for, you know, bits and bobs like they come home, they have a sponsored walk or they have a little trip they're going to do. I like it. I think it's two euro for the school raffle every week in my daughter's school. Um, so yeah, I want to have an envelope at home for school, which just like loose change in it as well um, for when they go back to school. So this is what I'm going to set up in February. So that's it there. So let us close off this and see where we are. So our total is, our beginning total was plus four, three, seven, nine point nine seven is 
seven four one three point five two. And people usually ask where you hold this um, and if you watch um, my previous video on my budget you'll see that I actually hold 5,000 of this between my current account and my joint account because if I've got 250,000 constantly in those accounts I don't get charged any bank fees so that's where they sit. And then the other 2,413 that was sitting in a bank account. And I know from this uh, she here how much is in each account. Um, and now I'm going to have some in cash envelopes as well. So it'll be split between those three accounts. And it may sound complicated, um, but it works for me. And I know how it works. And that's what I'll suggest to you too. When you're sitting, setting up your sinking funds, do what works for you. Don't look at mine and say, oh, it has to be like that. Or look at somebody else's and think that as well. So you do what works for you, whether you want to have them all in cash envelopes, whether you want to have them in individual bank account, which I know some people do, or have it in one bank account and like keep a note on it on a piece of paper or a spreadsheet. Just do what works for you. So there we are. There's our clothes. Oh, I still haven't added up these ones yet. Hi guys, I got cut off there. So there was a little error in my admin and I have found it. I have put this in as 1353 instead of 1535. So it all adds up perfect now. And then we put 930 into our sinking funds this month. We took out 131.65 and we're left with a balance of 811.90, sorry, 8,211.97. So what I did, which I had recorded, but it had shut off, was I brought those across and I set up February uh, sinking funds. So what I did was I take these closing balances and I now bring them over here as my opening balances. So we are all set up and ready to go for February and I have set up what I need for my... Um, compulsory sinking funds so that will go into my february budget as well the 380 euro and then the rest um gets funded with what's left so if you've enjoyed this video thank you so much and i hope to see you next time take care bye